Hi. Sorry about that cut off on the last video when I was talking about Amy Winehouse. My phone just hates me and doesn't want to work with me. I'd done it before. I'll say you don't have enough data. I'm like, Fuck. I'm telling you, technology. Told you I hurt my phone's feelings and it told me because it was doing the whole voice. It was try. It, I hate this whole, you know, talking to your phone and it type stuff and because it's listening to everything you say. Because it wants to serve you. I don't think so. It's just listening to everything you say. Your phone is listening to you right now. Listen to this. It's not a joke. It's the truth. All you gotta do is talk about something. Mention a product. Do it 20 times in a day. Mention a product 20 times in a day. And then go back on to your space or whatever and your YouTube or your, and you'll start getting ads for the same thing that you were talking about 20 times. What does that tell you? Your phone is listening to you. I'm not bringing this there. I'm not going there because we don't need to today because it's a beautiful day. I'm just a little pissed that my phone shit off in the middle of that video. So I, I love talking about, you know, celebrities when they were still f fresh and new and beautiful and before they got trampled on by the industry. Which usually what happens. It's kind of like a, a young girl runs away from home and she goes to a bus stop. Next you know, she's pimped out. And she's used and abused, and nobody wants her anymore. She's no more, no longer relevant. You know how many '80s acts went through that process of being dumped by their label, and then nobody would call them back? Can you imagine that? On top of the world, man, traveling to Paris, limos, the best of everything. A year later, you can't get a, you can't get people to pick up the phone. That's industry. I mean, it's heartless. But I love you. And I was, what I was talking about before I got cut off was how it's important for you to love yourself. That was it. I was talking about loving yourself and how important it was for you to love yourself because that bleeds into the rest of your life. You raise your vibration and you raise the vibration of everybody. And basically what we're doing is we're trying to work on ourselves and getting that vibration going high. And then together we raise the vibration of the planet. And, and people that don't want to come, they're going to have a hard time because the vibration is going to be good. And if, if you're one of those people where levity is painful to you, then you're going to hate the happiness and the sunshine and the laughter that comes. I'm just saying that's what's going to happen to people. And that's what I was talking about when I got cut off by my phone. I was telling you to love yourself. And then you'll be able to be more loving to others and be open to love. It's going to, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be beautiful, people. And the dark hearts aren't going to win. Mm -mm. Remember, I'm not Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm Han Solo. Han Solo, and I did not hook up with Princess Leia. I don't care what anybody says. That chick is nuts. So anyway, and our offspring would have been psychotic. Just saying. But I love you. And I think that the Rebel Alliance is going to win. And the Death Star is going to blow up. And the Emperor is going to die. And I am going to be the Emperor. Oh, and that was another thing I wanted to talk about, is being the emperor of the universe. As the emperor of the universe, I have to love everything. Even I, and, and I killed a spider and a couple of mosquitoes last night. But it was in self-defense, totally. They would trust me. But normally I'm supposed to love everything, even the bugs. There are a lot of bugs here in Montana. And everybody, even the bad guys, you're supposed to love everyone. I'm highly disappointed in the bad guys. Put my foot in the ass of the bag. It's like having children. As the emperor of the universe, you really have that empathy for everyone. And it's like having a child that goes astray. And you, you feel for him. You pray for him. But look at the traffic. This is nuts. Montana, right? I told the guy that maintenance about the traffic when I was doing my video recording. He started laughing. He was like, dude, there's like three people in 86 campgrounds around here. There's only three campgrounds occupied. So there's nobody out here. But yeah, but I'm recording traffic. But anyway, so... As the emperor, I have to love everything and everyone. And although, yeah, the dark hearts are disappointing as hell, and I will deal with them once I've, you know, obtained the throne. I'm still in, in training. I haven't been anointed yet. I am the king of pain, but not the emperor of the universe. But that's the next step. The universe is rooting for me. God loves me, and we'll see what happens. Because I'm telling you, when I get when I when I ascend to the throne, woo, child, some, people are gonna be running for cover. Oh, the bad guys. Oh, yeah. They're going to be like, oh, shit. What? What? Rubert is the emperor of the universe now? Shit. Shut down operations, baby. 
We in trouble. Pack your shit and get on. They got that emergency packet bag that they got in case I do. Because I'm coming for you. With love in my heart. But somebody needs a spanking. A paddling. Anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful day before I get cut off with my phone again. And love yourselves. And be strong for me and I'll be strong for you, okay? And you're amazing. I love you. I do. I mean, if I'm the emperor of the universe and I have empathy for everybody, I should be able to love everybody too, right? And I do. I love you. So have a wonderful day. And smile. And try to laugh. You are amazing. <sighs> you are. Okay. Now run with it, baby. Rock that. Rock that new toot of yours. A wonderful day. Goodbye. And let's pan out here real quick because obviously I don't know how to do a phone.